Hey guys, welcome to another video of Detroit Become Human. And let me tell you, this chapter was filled with a lot of pressure and stress inducing scenarios and I'm glad I made it through. <laughs> oh man, but um, yeah guys, this game is a lot of fun and you'll see what I, you see the choices I made and how I handled it. So I hope you enjoy watching this and let's -a go. Reconcile with Lieutenant you. Anderson. Well, it looks like we're back to uh, playing as Connor. And we gotta repair our relationship with uh, Anderson over here. I think my people. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Ooh, all right. As I was saying before, I think uh, the last video, I think my uh, my last what was it dialogue option made it so that he trusted me a little bit because I listened to him. Now, what is this? License expired May 20th, 2031. Oh, his renewal was refused and it got a C rating. Yeesh. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. As it cyber life thought everything, huh? Here you go. Oh, he ordered a hamburger. Along with extra large soda. That doesn't look like extra large. Unless the XL is just a name. Can I scan his face? Yes, I can. Gary Kays, business owner. Oh, his criminal record is resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Well, dude got a C rating and hasn't even renewed his uh his uh, license for his ben his vendor, his cart. Anything else I can uh scan wait, what's this? Oh, that's him. I wasn't trying to scan him. Anything else I can uh Ah, right, we're good. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Yeah, sure. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. <laughs> I like how the nuance is lost on him. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's gotta die of something. <laughs> My guy Hank ain't wrong. Oh, we got the highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. 
So Hank does care. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Ouch. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Let's be sincere about this. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Oh, I like that. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. I honestly thought the chapter Just was that over. a neighbor reported that he heard like, strange oh, noises coming Connor. from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we... Is there anything else for me to scan here? Oh, there is something. We have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cop. Oh, there's feathers. Psst. Hey, were you really making a report back... Back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Went in. Oh, so we gotta question the suspect if we find them. Or better yet, just catch him. Can I? No. What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm supposed to investigate. Confirm suspect is a deviant. Find cause of loud noise. <clears throat> oh man, look at all this. 
Woo, that's a lot of things to interact with. Ah, uh, whoa. You know what? Jesus, this there. place stinks. Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. It's never nothing. Trying to find the other area they want me to scan. It's in this wait. Can I scan that already? Urban poster. Oh, found it. Paper recently moved. Our man's gone. Found something? Oh, found evidence. Let's check this wall here. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh, I need some fresh air. I'm trying to get all I can now so I can unlock more uh, dialogue options. Hope for a better, you know, outcome for this chapter. If I can, at least. It's in the bridge. What's in here? Guy doesn't need. Alright, let's pull on. Uh, definitely a deviant. Scan most of the living room except for these last uh, areas here. Oh, we found a military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom. We got the name. Or the driver's ID. license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Alright, we better go in the room. The bathroom. Oh, it's one of those uh, things that's on the Android. It's set. LED is in the sink! Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. And we found more Ethereum. Oh, yep, more clues to RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Oh. Open marker pen. Still wet, used recently. Midnight mood black. Construct. Oh. So he was writing. Found it.
So he was riding on the wall and then ran to the living room after he fell. Oh, because he heard us uh coming in. Alright, knocking. All that good stuff. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Alright, now it's a matter of finding out where he ran off to. Electronic books, you can't. So now we have to find the cause of the loud noise. Oh. Smell the paper. See. Oh, there's three clues to find here. Okay, we found the finger marks. Did Mark Beeson. And we have traces of galvanized steel. Suspect ran toward the entrance. And then he heard us enter. Pages turning yellow. Oh, we're getting closer now. So you have no idea what I'm talking here. about, do you? I checked here though. Radiator, no. The window? Emergency. Yeah. Oh, I found another. I can't believe it. Snatch up is actually feeding these fuckers. Oh, I scanned this already. Check the ceiling. No. Other areas he could have ran off to can't be here. Now, all right, let's check that one more time. So he ran out from the bathroom. Heard us enter. A ho. Okay. Coming for ya. Ah! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Here we go! Go on, let's go! There he is. Ah. Uh. Now yeah, we're going fast for a whiskey!
guy's a runner, man. Alright, we're going fast on this. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. I didn't even hesitate to save <laughs> Hank at all, man. I was all for it. That was crazy. I love that chase scene. But yeah. Oh, his name is Rupert. He got away. What did I miss here? Gaining on Rupert. Pushes Hank. Save Hank. Yeah, I gotta say, that was, that was fun. I kept going for all the direct approaches because I didn't want to slow down at all. I took the risk. I was like, oh man, they're going to hit me with a lot of uh, quick time events, but worth it. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Also, we're back to playing as Marcus. 
I nearly forgot we were in this ship too. Now we gotta go find Lucy. Which one is up? You know what? Let me explore a bit. What's this? Let's give this place a little warmth. You know, I'm probably just gonna, wow. <laughs> that is a lot. I'm just gonna, yeah, do a little exploring here. I feel like it could be important for all the dialogue options down the line. Or maybe just for this chapter. I think it's always important to just, you know, go through all the uh, yellow icons. As much as you can, at least. That must be Lucy. But before I talk to her, let me see what's in here. What is this? More body parts? Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks. Yeah, let's light all the barrels. Why not? Give the people some warmth. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. You know, I'm still wondering if uh, Carl is dead. Hopefully we'll still see him later down the line. I don't know, because we're going to eventually have to confront the son. Uh, I think his name was Leo. Right, there's a few more things for me to check out. I'll start looking for Lucy. I have a feeling I know who it is too. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. That's sad. She shut down midway. Alright, let's check that last one and then we'll talk to Lucy. Oh, it's this guy. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to 
lo sata. That really sucks. A lot of androids here were poorly mistreated. And this is where they ended up going to for uh, a place of solace. This is not. I think this is north. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Now, which one of you is Lucy? Or exploit Joe Jericho. That's what it wants me to do now, but I think we can find Lucy somewhere here. I think it wants me to go upstairs. I don't know. I spoke to her. This is not Lucy. Now oh, this one might be her. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Bottoms up. Give me your hand. You're asking a lot, lady. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. So, I'm to take it, she's the leader, and I would say clairvoyant, but she, she's an AI, so she probably processes all this data. I 
I guess we talked to uh, Simon. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. This chapter was pretty laid back, which is good. We can use a little break here and there. See, everything here is unlocked, but I think that was what was supposed to happen anyway. We ended up meeting, uh, what's her name, Lucy. All right, let's continue. Be okay. We'll get some help here. Soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This is the place. Going to the place where uh, the guy gave us some quick information before you decided to go all disappearing act on us. And the doorbell? Yep. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. In. Don't be shy. This guy better not be another weirdo. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? <laughs> oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. 
great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Oh, right I don't way. know about this. Everything we need is in the basement. That guy's gonna mess with her. I feel it. What is this? All these books. And this guy over here. Dude, he's tall, man. I feel like he's not gonna remove her track. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I know. Exactly, the I little girl knows. Either. We have to be careful. Alice is on point. Please excuse the mess. I needed some. Alright, let me scan. More discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. Oh, I unlocked something. Oh man. All right. Let's take a look see. I want to gather some info before Yeah, I definitely have a feeling this guy is just going to do something shady to car over here. I don't I don't know. You can't leave either. If you could just stand over there. What? I am doing everything in my power to keep myself from going there, like right away. I wanna just make sure there's no other alternatives I can check out. All right. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? Uh-oh. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah. People believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. Is there any other... A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. I'm so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Uh 
Uh oh. Gotta find something. Got. It's what you get for having a dream. Is there anything I can do to get out? Way. Tears and disillusion. Believe me. What percentage I got left? Better off being 7%. raised and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. Ten percent. Almost down to you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Mary, looks like you. mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Oh no, no, not it. No. Ah, wake up, girl. Hey. Meet me in the living room. Oh man. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh man. 28%. Let's go! Smash that square! Seven? Oh no, come on. What else do I need to do? Come on. My feet. I knocked down the floor. Oh, come on. Yellow cable. Hold on. Hopefully it didn't happen. I'm hoping I'm reading that wrong. Care to help me with that? Ah, all right. He really did a number on the rest of the other angle. Ooh, look at that guy. Ouch. I need to get my memories back, like right now. I also don't want anything to happen to Alice, so. 
Getting there. Let's hope we can remember everything. Okay, what? There are several areas for me to. I'm gonna get her memories back, guys. This is uh, unacceptable. Is there anywhere else I can interact with? Oh, there's several. Pass this dinner's ready. This dinner can wait. Take it up to me. Yes, Luther. So we have to take his food anyway. So this guy ends up taking all the lost androids with uh, sentience and screws with them. Thing to do is bidding. I don't know. It seems like it. I gotta find Alice. No, I went to the entrance. Is there more things to interact with? Hold on. And you want to find a safe place? Somewhere you can start a new life. I'm glad Kara's getting a bit of her memories back regardless of how quick she was going to delete it. can go from there. Is he upstairs? That guy burned out for the uh, Alice. Yep, right here. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. Look at what this guy's doing. Not that table. Oh, he wants me to sit down here. Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It took off the word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Laka. Luther! Luther! At the very least, she remembered the, how abusive the father was. Yes, Lachlan. It should be done here in 10 minutes. So, have a look at the little one and see what I can do with it. Understood, Lachlan. 
I'll bring you a little one in ten minutes. Where'd Alice go? Where do you put her? I got ten minutes. I got ten minutes to remember. Alright. Oh man. Alright, be quick. On a lot of on a lot of other uh, options. Eight minutes. Let's see. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. Him. You should not be here. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. I'm looking for a little girl. Have you seen her? So many doors. Wait, did I go around? I got seven minutes. Wait, is that her? Oh, whoa. No. I'm opening that cage. I think I have a friend. Alright, uh. Jeez, I don't have a lot of time. Alright, we're going through here. Oh, there are so many places. Did I go? I got six minutes. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Hope I am. This is like a maze. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on, back. All right, let's go. Let's get out. All right, let's, uh, I came from there. Where else can I go? Ah, alright. Alright, going straight down. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, don't wake him.
so many areas. No, I don't have time to do it. Oh, we got a shotgun. Loaded. I guess we don't have a shotgun. Through there. Oh man, this is so suspenseful, man. Five minutes. I don't know where Alice is. Come on. That did not help me at all. Oh, I don't have time for this. Come on. This is how you know I hate time events. Four minutes. Ah. Alright. So. Only area I haven't been to yet. At least I think I have it. Alice. Car. Car, you remember me? How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, love. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little. Oh, thank goodness we found her. Now it's a matter of trying to get out. Nerve-wracking. What the fuck are you doing? Come here! Coming! Okay, let's go. Less than a minute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, We're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. Search the house. Wait, no, we don't have to go. Uh, Go, where to go? We can hide under the bed. 
We got 17 seconds to hide. You know what? We're hiding under the bed. about that buddy Sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna. I only wanna. Woo! No more hide and seek for you. you dreams always end in tears you should have listened to me what are you doing get out of my way no not this time i said get out of my way or i'll shoot right through you What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. 
I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who can help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. That was a stressful chapter, guys. Oh man, I am so lucky it turned out the way it did. I did not want to lose Kara, and I certainly didn't want to lose uh, Alice. Oh, it worried me throughout the whole thing. What did I, what did I do here? Holy cow, man! Yeah, I didn't. Oh, uh, when I was hiding in that last scene. I thought it was going to give me more like ample opportunity, but the moment I lost that, I was like, oh man, quick time events, I better not mess up. Ah, oh, so I'm glad Luther joins us though. I like that guy. Guy's like, a, he's like a big softy. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, from the very beginning, the moment, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zla Something with a Z. Oh, the moment Zlatko was talking about removing the the tracker from her, I was like, nah, that's a lie. That's a big old lie. And turns out it was. But yeah, guys, this was a very, <laughs> oh, this was a pressure filled chapter for me. And I'm glad uh, I got the outcome that I did. If anything else, guys, I'm going to end the video here for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next one.